Ivy Grange out there at Mission Hills. Amanda, I mean, this woman has to be the overwhelming favorite this week. Nellie Corder is, of course, out the picture, world number two due to uh, that blood clot in her arm. Six wins in her last 11 starts on tour. She's just dominating. It was absolutely unreal to watch her light it up starting in the summer last uh, last season. I, she went she won five out of nine events last year. It was just unbelievable. She takes some time off during the off season. She's really been dealing with an injured left wrist since May of last year. So really having to rest it uh, at the CME at Tour Championship. She didn't even hit golf balls after the round, barely would warm up and uh, won. So she doesn't need much of a warm up. Uh, so she's really rested it so far this year. She's only played in two events and out of those two events, uh, she's won and finished then fourth, uh, tied for fourth last week. So she really is just such a phenomenal player from top to bottom. Her ball striking is incredible. Uh, last uh, season was number two in greens regulation. Historically is number one in greens regulation, but then also uh, Billy and Anna, she has the putter to back it up. She's also a phenomenal putter, and that's why uh, she is as good as she is and uh, the player, by far the player to be. You kind of look at the golf swing and, and the way that she delivers the club. Uh, obviously, you know, twice a Rolex player of the year, and she's won the CME Globe a couple of times. Uh, those are pretty heady titles that she has, but I look at the golf swing itself, and you look at the calmness at the top of the golf swing, and then the way that she d delivers the club. And Amanda referenced the fact that uh, she hits almost 80% of her greens. It kind of reminds me of a, a guy on the PGA Tour named Colin Morikawa, mm. his iron play. And so you kind of look at these two golf swings, and you just think they're never going to hit a, a poor shot, a poor iron shot. And uh, you go ahead and you, you combine that with good driving and obviously the good putting, you're going to win a lot. You're going to win over 50% of your last 11 events. So. I like what I see. It looks like it's a nice, comfortable warm-up, so I look for big things for her today. Yeah, Ji Young Ko, she only looks peaceful out there on the golf course. She looks so comfortable wherever she does, and she just has such a natural talent for this game. She will be a fierce competitor uh, this week. Well, let's go and take a look at Lexi Thompson, her playing partner this afternoon. And no one really has a better record at this event, Amanda, than Lexi. A first, a second, a third, and a fourth since 2014. Why does this event and this course suit her so well? Uh, talk about horses for courses. Mm. This is this course was made for Lexi. Uh, she hits it so far, and you know, we've seen winners uh, like Pernilla Lindbergh, for example, who doesn't hit it very far, come out and win. Uh, but there is a huge benefit to this golf course hitting it very far. The par fives are then reachable. You can make eagles. Uh, you have uh, birdie almost seems like natural on these par fives. So really for these longer hitters, uh, it does play a little bit easier and Lexi takes advantage of her length on this golf course and obviously is very comfortable. Uh, when you look, she's never missed the cut. Uh, she's had uh, five top fives. She's had six top tens here. Uh, most rounds in the 60s. She's had 14 uh, rounds in the 60s. So she just absolutely loves this golf course and historically a phenomenal ball striker. She hits it a very long way, like I mentioned before, but also just greens and regulation this year. She's number seven on tour. In greens and regulation, um, last year she was number one, uh, led the tour in greens and regulation. And when she starts putting, she doesn't have the putt light, lights out, but when she just putts okay, that's when you see Lexi in contention or winning. I'm actually a little surprised she hasn't won more on this golf course. Uh, because when you, when you have the length that she has, how many wedge opportunities is she going to put in her hands? So if you improve the wedge game, then you're going to have the opportunity to make more birdies. Um, and, and this is, I, I'm not, you know, being negative about this, but this is a player that's, that's won 11 times on the LPGA. Uh, in my opinion, there should be more. Uh, with the talent that she has. Um, again, you get back to the warm-up and you get on the golf course and, and things get amped up a little bit, but she's had three top tens this year, but she's not, a, she's not that player that you're going to look at top tens all the time. You're going to look at how many wins Lexi Thompson has. That's, that's her goal. She will tell you that's her goal. She needs to not be satisfied with top tens. She needs to go out and be satisfied with championships and wins. Yeah, she's a she's a proven champion, and let's not forget she had that 
heartbreaking runner-up finish back in 2017, penalised those four strokes during Sunday's round for an infraction she committed on the Saturday. Arguably, that should have been her second win at this championship. But Lexi Thompson, she is always a threat.